everybody. Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Mike. This is John. That'd be me. Britt, say your name. <laughs> Britton. That's the name. Riles. Patrick. Jesse. Cool. Are you sure? Are you sure <laughs> about that? Is that your that? final answer? There are some who call me. Cats out of the bag. Do you? It's too late. Jesse, the international man of mystery. I like that. Uh, so yeah. what? So tonight's topic is Isis, Isil, Isis, uh, Egyptian fertility god, Israeli <laughs> state uh, intelligence service. What are we talking about exactly? What is Isis? What is Isis? That's, what is Isis? Yeah, I mean, is it Mossad's little brother? Is it Mossad's little brother? Oh. Little kid named Isis. Okay, what is right, I can see that. What um, is Isis? Right. All right. People so. Pudding. <laughs> I guess I'll come out. I'll come out and just say it like this. I think it's CIA. I think it's CIA. There, I said it. It's so CIA. you're telling me ISIS or ISIS, ISIS. Equal, equals CIA? Yeah. If they to me, like if, if they're not being, like if it's not directly like guys who are being like paychecks from the CIA, they originally got their start from like a whole bunch of CIA money or something. Because it's just, it's way, there's way too many convenient coincidences on how they got arms, weapons, American money, arms vehicles. That, yeah. You Toyota mean, Tundras that are only manufactured in North America. That's kind of weird. It's not just a bunch of guys who are really, really angry at how free we are. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patrick. That's good. Oh, that's good. They hate us for our freedom. What's left of it? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, they're doing a good job of helping us legislate our way out of it, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. I mean, that's kind of one, one of those things. Like, how deep does like the rabbit hole go on that? You know what I mean? Is it is it you know is it kind of like what I was saying? Like, oh, they just you know they probably got you know this start with some CIA money. There's 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 multiple pictures of John McCain like meeting with the guy who's the head of it. You know all that, but I mean. Was ahead of it or is ahead of it? Is the head of it the guy who's like? What's his name? Like I can't remember. Abba Akshabar. It's <laughs> no, it's ba something like that though. <laughs> Baghdadi. No. Baghdadi. No, it's John McCain. John, John, John McCain. <laughs> I know That's that. How you pronounce it? I know. Yeah. I've seen evil on the battlefield <laughs> while looking into the mirror. It was. It was bad. But yeah, so I, from what I hear, like, what was it like? The ISIS was unknown, virtually unknown, as of not all too long ago. Yeah, and they did. They didn't exist three years ago. Three years ago, yeah. is that what it is? Mm -hmm. And then they went from that to becoming the greatest threat known to humanity, <laughs> according to you know the so, mainstream. So goes the propaganda. Yeah, yeah, right. So I mean, what you believe is real is real. When you think of it, for like, you, like this, in that moment, yeah. in that moment, because I was just reading a uh, report on NPR, which is usually a fairly even-handed yeah, news well, source. Sure, but there's yeah, definitely a, like a liberal bent to it, but, right? But the report, and I was sh kind of shocked by it, was how many um, recruits ISIS was getting homegrown, and I was like, oh my god! So basically, now we've got Americans signing up to fight for a fictional <laughs> like do they know that it's fictional <laughs> like when they're signing up like are they aware where there's an actual or application that to says fight for like, ISIS to, like, to perpetrate attacks like yeah. on American soil from you know like you know, I'm, I'm actually reading a really interesting book right now by a guy called Reza Reza Aslan or something like that and he's a professor at UC Riverside and wh what happened was my wife was watching something on Facebook that was like a sound bite from CNN and I was hearing all this noise, usual talking head stuff, and then there was this guy who kept making sense, and I was like, "What the? F what? It this always, is happening it always on the news your right head, now? right? Yeah, yeah, I was like, "Wait, I was like, who is that? <laughs> who is speaking right now?" Um, and uh, she's like, "I don't know, some guy named Reza." And so we listened to the rest of it, and I was like, "Okay, buy his books, um, you know." And he was just um, breaking apart um, the whole terrorism industry, basically, and. Um, I, I don't know. I, the book is giving a history, a historical overview of how like Al Qaeda and ISIS and all these things happened, um, and it's really 
it's really interesting to hear somebody who like sees through the nonsense and the propaganda yet still clings to the idea that these things are in fact real right um and i'm sure that there is like there is truth in it somewhere right you know i'm sure that that exists i mean you couldn't just outright tell a lie right yeah it's gotta be at least like one based on one percent truth you gotta have something in yeah there. you gotta have some amount of truth to be able to sell it but but i don't know it's an interesting book it's called beyond fundamentalism Hmm. Beyond fundamentalism. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds interesting. In that same vein, though, I saw a meme right after that in her feed that said, if religion is about peace, why aren't there extremists extremely peaceful? Hmm. There, there are, though. Yeah. Like, look there at Gandhi. Are. So, yeah, there's there's there are, are, right? Like so, some Buddhist monks, so that most people would call that, for instance, extreme, right? You know, giving up everything to go live in a monastery, right? Yeah. And uh, the, they shoot a grasshopper out of the way, right? That's true. Yeah. True story. Yeah, yeah they true. do do that. Jainism. Yeah, Gandhi was an extremely peaceful racist, though, and I feel like <laughs> that kind of, like, cancels out any pacifism. I guess you can be a pacifist and be a shithead racist, but <laughs> okay, no, well, no offense against Gandhi. I mean, he did some awesome <laughs> stuff, but he was a shithead racist. Well, okay, so I, I didn't know this. Like, this who, who, who did he not like? Was it... Who did he was who was he racist against? Who was like the his racist the, the source of his hatred or whatever? Um, blacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I thought you didn't like the English. Was it, was That's that, what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, he too. didn't like, like them either. He doesn't like well, the English. I don't English. think he liked so, them like, either. But but was it had did it have to do with the caste system at all or no? It could have. You know, Untouchables type. It, it yeah, certainly no? could have. But I would I would I would see Gandhi as someone who probably rose above oh, the no. caste system. Yeah, right in now. some sense or another. I don't know. Yeah, we've gone off topic. I Isis. think we're right around topic. Well, I mean, right around. Topic is. <laughs> <laughs> it might be right. It was a good travel. Well, because like race is. Yeah. Like how real what is race? Part of what is, is, what is, is race? Right. Race is. What is exist. race? What is ISIS? It's like the same question. <laughs> if you're at home, like I never address the viewers directly. <laughs> but if you are at home if and you, you still think race is you. a thing, go read a book. Other than about socially, genetics it's socially contrived, right? Isn't it socially contrived? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I totally believe that 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 it was it was something Race that is not real. you know when you when it comes to like the the, the modern you know idea of it I guess because it, it used to be like way back when at least in like your say like your Greco Roman culture is that it, like you were you the r race was synonymous with what country you were from you know yeah so like, it wasn't like so I mean you've got like somebody who's you know like let's say somebody who's Greek and say somebody who's like from Italy essentially like the same people but but race was like saying what country you were from right. but nowadays it's like oh well okay so that guy has like a wider nose or something it, and so therefore not if you're he's... greek or italian right oh yeah well the same yeah. people well, <laughs> he, well i'm saying like you know like back then or something that was how like it was work but yeah the uh i mean and then there's there's race there's race coming up with the whole isis thing too i mean like jesse you were saying that you you were you're giving somebody a ride and there uh, was these it was these it was these Muslim girls, right? And you said that they were like kind of like a car full of teenage uh, goofy Muslim girls, <laughs> right? <laughs> goofy Muslim. And that they yeah, were like worried the about trip, it or something, the, or what well, was the whole trip of the way they were. Well, the, the the girl there were three girls in the back doing selfies the whole way. Okay. Like, you know, right. Like that. And then mm -hmm. the girl in the front was. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, no. you know, here's this gringo pulling up to this cafe that had the Arabic writing, and mm -hmm. and in my mind, I'm thinking that. She's probably slightly paranoid mm -hmm. because <clears throat> um, maybe I'm imagining things, but they get a lot of uh, ideas. I think that uh, the propaganda that everybody is subject to with the U.S. news right. is to dislike those people or be suspicious of them. So yeah. maybe they're on their guard. Mm -hmm. But I, I wouldn't I, blame I like, them. You know, yeah. So I lighten things up a little bit. Where were you? Just um, East San Diego. Oh. Not by choice, just kind of happened that way huh. yeah. um but anyway i was gonna ask something else first okay yeah. whenever somebody says okay isis said this or isis said that i mean mm -hmm. how do we know what's the information right. source Right. CIA. CNN. CNN. That's kind of an innocent question. I mean, where do they get their information from? Is it a is it a website or something? Or because the claim is ISIS will say this and say that according to these news people. But um, how do we know uh, if that's true or not, or legitimate or legitimate or where is it coming from? Yeah. The State Department says, okay, new, Mr. News Guy, tell these people ISIS said this, but 
Really, I mean, is there a website or is there a, is well, it in the onion, dot onion? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Does, yeah, I mean, they got, yeah, they got a dot right? onion site or something. But doesn't, uh, was it, uh, uh, doesn't Al-Qaeda, like, publish a magazine or something really comical like that? Like, they have a magazine? Like, huh? They publish a magazine? What? Some people think like it's easy or like, oh, like yeah, 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 some copy. people do, yeah. Al-Zero. But Copyright it's owned by BBC, though, right? Uh, Al Jazeera? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, or at least it was created by BBC. No, I, I made that joke, but I'm not... In many ways, I think that Al Jazeera is a respectable news outlet, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So I wasn't... Ish. I was saying some okay. people... Not respectable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah I mean, they'll you, tell you, you things well, the U.S. Al Jazeera. The station like, was yeah. bombed oh, by the yeah, U.S., sure. so yeah. maybe <laughs> after that, they... Change their ways. That, or really? When did that happen? Got a little more respect for him now. Years ago. Who's that? Al Jazeera. For what? They got bombed by us. Yeah. Uh, it was intentionally. Us. Yeah. Intentionally? You, you did it? <laughs> well, really, just okay. peaches, aren't we? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> like the wedding that oh, they we bombed. It was intentional. So <laughs> that weird. We're, yeah, fucking maybe, maybe we did hit him on accident. Maybe we were aiming for the children's hospital some next guys, door. Oh, <laughs> some guy sad because I do remember that. <laughs> keyboard war, right? Yeah. That was this in Afghanistan, right? War. Where they, where they, where the hospital got bombed, right? Uh. Yeah, that was. Uh, you know, I was listening to uh, uh, an interview uh, with uh, <coughs> Scott Horton from uh, uh, Antiwar uh, dot com, and he was saying that. Uh, I mean, you know, they tried to make it seem uh, on the news that, like, oh, well, they didn't really know it was a hospital kind of, sort of. They weren't really sure until somebody called them afterwards. There was a giant banner on top of the building with a red cross on it. A red cross. Yeah, yeah, with a red cross on it. So, like, and it wasn't like... Not like it was a universal symbol or anything. (laughs) Yeah, like nobody, yeah. Uh, And, you know, it wasn't like they had launched, like, a missile at it. This was, what you're saying was it was... Uh, it was a gunship that attacked it, so I can't. It was Crazy Horse. Yeah, I can't. I can't mm. remember if it was like he didn't specify whether that was like an A10 or an Apache or something like that, because it's kind of a. To me, it was like the way it was termed. <gasps> but so either way, there's somebody who's like doing strafing runs on it. There's no way that. Not yeah, that, that yeah. they didn't know it was a hospital. They, that was done in, intentional. Yeah. I think the A10s have been decommissioned. It, I, okay, well then it must have been an Apache then, I don't know. Well, that's the other factor in this whole debacle. Actually, there's, a, there's a fight to keep the A10 alive. I think it still is... Uh, still in service? still is in service, but they're trying... The, One or two squadrons. A lot, a lot of, the, yeah. a lot of the top brass is trying to push it out, and then a lot of the... Um, no, there, there's still a lot of support for the A10, and, um, yeah. including in Congress. I, I watched a documentary called uh, Hog. It was actually made by the... Um, Air Force uh, combat camera, yeah, and um, they tried to squelch that uh, documentary. They didn't even want that coming out, and uh, some <laughs> journalists just posted it. And uh, yeah, so that, that, that's an interesting not, story. About yeah, not to get off the artillery, but it's probably because they're they're pitching for a new weapon system, right? You mm. can retire the A10. Oh, it's the F-35. That's, right, yeah, that's what they yeah, want. Yeah. They, want, they want that that multi-trillion dollar right. noggle. Yeah, <laughs> that old that that old aircraft that's super durable and really safe. Yeah. yeah, we gotta get rid of that. We gotta get something a little bit more, yeah. you know, flimsy Flashy, and yeah. you know, yeah. Just to get back right. on topic yeah. on, on right. ISIS, right? Well, um, just as good a question as you know, what is ISIS? Is uh, who created ISIS? Sure. And right. uh, there's a great article uh, written by Jack Hunter on Rare.us uh, titled "Who Created ISIS?" and um, it's very well cited. You know, re- uh, resource with all the. Um, Quotes from, uh, you know, as back as uh, as far back as 1994, when Dick Cheney uh, was asked about uh, taking out Saddam Hussein, he said, "If we take out Saddam Hussein, there's going to be a power vacuum. It's going to be a quagmire." And uh, well, obviously, that's you know that 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 happened. He was right. He was yeah, right in '94. Right. He went ahead with the policy anyways. Um, you even have uh, uh, George W. Bush and uh, Tony Blair um, saying that yeah, taking out Saddam Hussein create a power vacuum that uh, allowed ISIS to move in and um, gain control. Um, so I wanted to throw that, that article out there. It's okay. very well. James um, Corbett's done some analysis there as well. Uh, yeah, James Corbett and ISIS. He's done a lot of good work there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the other thing that, that I want to bring up is that is it a requirement to, uh, to be in ISIS uh, you must have a passport 
and always carry it on you at all times. And leave it behind. At and, oh yeah, always leave it behind. <laughs> always have your passport on you and remember to drop it before you leave. A crime scene. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like 9-11 where they found passports in the yeah. list. Of no the black box, but there's a passport. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 And dental records, if I believe. Or <laughs> 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 you know, dental remains where they can identify it. This, this is going off even further. Does anybody remember the story about how the paramedics and the fire department didn't steal all the jeans from the department store and that it was actually thrown into the back of their truck by the blast from 9-11? Oh, really? Uh, yeah, no, I, I remember distinctly reading this article talking about the physics of it. And I was like, wow, you just tried to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just like, saying. It's sure, it's insane. possible. Wow. <laughs> a lot of fancy math in that article. And I know fancy math. I'm good at fancy math. <laughs> <laughs> fancy math. Like, it's supposed yeah. to the not, not fancy kind. Is that, is that like fuzzy math? <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know, man. I am never going to believe anything that they tell me ever again. <laughs> I guess so that's the problem. It's, it's really like, gotten that. It doesn't know. really matter. <laughs> you know, I'm never going to believe any of it. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you messed up. You know, it's like... It's like the the cheating spouse, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah sure, so you were spouse. watching the game with the guys. Like, <laughs> come on, <laughs> now, you know. Like, well, that that happened. Working to me. late hours, right? That happened to me back when I was um, on the Tripoli when they hit the mine. Okay. And the uh, maybe I told playing told poker you the with story. the guys. I told you the story before, <laughs> but um, they hit a mine, and then the news came on board the next day and. Out in the news, they published that uh, the boat was going full speed ahead, which, which in fact was completely wrong. They were being dragged backwards. Mm -hmm. So, from then on, from then on, I was uh, skeptical about any and all other future news um, broadcasts as a result of that, because that was firsthand knowledge Account, of, right, of, yeah. of, of an obvious lie. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, who tells the stories? Rules the world. Yeah, that was another thing in the in the whole issue of ISIS and, and the war against terrorism, as ludicrous as that is, um, is that you know so like okay there's this big bad group who wants to like you know kill everyone who's like decent and like good hearted in the world and you know regardless of whether or not U S foreign policy has you know given rise to the um, conditions in which they could you know foster and grow and you know, become powerful. Uh, the thing, the fact remains that if you go, if the United States government goes and, you know, tries to take out these strategic locations of these uh, enemies that have been created one way or another, uh, and, and, and in the course of doing so, kill innocent uh, people, then you're just breeding the same terrorism that you're, you're combating. And so it's obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's a losing battle. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> you cut one head off and two. Yeah, it's Hydra. Out of it. It's yeah. Hydra, dude. Like it, it's a never. Is it Hydra? <laughs> now, I'm thinking, now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking of <laughs> Captain <laughs> America. Maybe it's Hydra. It's Hydra, it's dude. A, it's a losing Rogue battle Nation. for the genuine content. goal oh. of the of the alleged um, public relations speak of we want peace. All right. But it's good for people in the war business. Exactly. Absolutely. Very good. For that's, that's all well, see, it boils down what to. What they've successfully done, though, is they've transitioned this from being like a war against an enemy to being uh, what what that guy's book, uh, Ray's book, calls a cosmic war. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. it's good versus evil. It's an eternal struggle. In the neighborhood and everywhere else, you know, it's, it's, there's no yeah. end to it. And, that, no and so, like, I mean, they, they've already, if let's... For a moment, let's okay. ISIS is exactly what they say they are. They are, you know, angry guys in caves or whatever that are mad at our freedoms and mad that we don't accept the prophet or whatever. It, let's accept that for a minute. So for them, it's already a cosmic war. They are, we are the brothers of Satan. Right. You know, and so by making them such demons as we do in our media, you know, and maybe they are such demons, we're generating basically a religious war. Right. on our side because now we're just you know the christians whether we want to call ourselves that or not that's the that's the playing field that's the battlefield that we're on now you know we're fighting this unreal thing that is unwinnable yeah. has no end yeah you know it's just a a, a bottomless pit yeah 
and the money making pit. So it's that. not just the war industry; it's also the homeland, the homeland security industry, and well, it's everyone else that benefits from from the fear <coughs> consciousness that's it's, that's it's the generated gover- from it's it. It's a government yeah. welfare program. Church, church benefits from it too, whether they want to admit it or not. So then we should just support it because it's good for business, right? Right. <laughs> America! <laughs> Bro- the, broken window from theory? From Iron Mountain, something like that? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're working with Iron Mountain. It's just like global term. warming, it's good for business, so. I've heard the term yeah. vacuum, mm. leaving the, um, leave a power vacuum is several times. Is that made I'm by Oric? That's really fictitious, Bark. though. <laughs> but why have you use that one for a while? Power time. vacuum. Mm-hmm. Meaning that there must ne- be some necessity for some. Source of power, mm-hmm. like, you know, human right. rule over other people. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it the implication that there must always be a ruler? I think that's where they want to, that's their starting premise. So they want to throw that in there. Oh, if we take him out, there's going to be a vacuum in which we have to fill the, the void. You know? Whether you're religious or a status, yeah, you, you, you're, you have that inclination. I don't think anarchists have that inclination, but, you know, the Middle East isn't full of anarchists, so. And, and yeah. Yeah, but yet. well, I don't know. I <laughs> we're working I on them. <laughs> I think they may be I mean, to to an individual um, in their house that wants to just cook dinner and everything. They they may not be status, but they're in a world of status, so they have to. They're just acting accordingly, right? Yeah. That's just. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, the, the, the like social uh, yes. norms and, and just conformity, just. Yeah. Mm-hmm might lead you away from your, what, what feels natural to you. And even with, uh, you know, I mean, and with, uh, with ISIS, I mean, the, I guess part of the name is, you know, the state is in there somewhere, right? Yeah. You know, so like, yeah, 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 so they want to, yeah. they want to create, you know, they want to create their own government too. They're, they're, you know, Status. same as everything else, really. Global you know, caliphate. just, they're the, um, Except they're 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 today's demons rather than like Al Qaeda. It's you know? all empire, right? Yeah. It's an all empire game. Yeah, I mean, you 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 know, you got they they got rid of uh, Bin Laden whenever they got rid of Bin Laden. Whenever you may believe that happened. Died in two thousand two. Yeah, or I still say he has a desk next to Donald Rumsfeld in the uh, Pentagon. <laughs> you know what? I think he's dead. <laughs> do you remember? Uh, do you remember Dave? Dave Beggy, remember that guy? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, had a really good idea. Sitcom, right? Uh, so it, it, so it's Osama Bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. They work in cubicles together in like in like floor like B twenty of the Pentagon. You know how like it goes like it goes like below the ground level. <laughs> bunch. There's like B twenty. Yeah, basement. Yeah, or something like that. We'll just call it B twenty. Yeah, it'd be great. We yeah, it'd be a sitcom, and they're like they work in cubicles. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> or and there. we could throw like somebody else in there too. Like or, or, or they're inside. Yeah, or, yeah. or, they yeah. or they could be in, inside of Mount Weather. Oh, okay. That really cool mountain. But they have like a city under underground. What? Oh, I, bet <laughs> I, I haven't bet heard of that. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, keep keep going. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Yeah, yeah, Russia has an equivalent Mountain. one called Yamatown Mountain. Yama, Yama, oh. Not Yamatown, but Yamatown Mountain. Yeah, it's, yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's a top secret underground facility. Mm. It's in a mountain. I don't know if it's Virginia or some. I don't know. So it's not state. NORAD, but something bigger. Oh, yeah, okay, it's all right. Big. It's underground, and there's a city. Um, just Uh-oh. a little sp- Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Anyway, um, it's where the ark is. There's a lot of oh, where the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As, of, as of recently, Indiana Jones and the, the uh, that's where it got stored. The Mormons have one like that too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Indeed, they do. Uh, the Mount Denver Airport has a oh, underground facility. Because I know the Denver Airport has underground facilities. Is it kind of like that? All oh, this. I don't know. This thing is big. Yeah, Denver Airport is. <coughs> yeah. We could do a show on the Denver Airport. Isn't there like, there's a whole bunch of like oh, weird yeah. conspiracies yeah. about like Denver Airport, one. right? Yeah. We should first go to the Denver Airport. The oh, really? airport yeah. oh, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Denver Airport. That's a, that's a wild one. <laughs> Why don't you go to a recon? And if you don't come back, we'll know there's. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be no, the human a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the, the warrant humanoid. Is anyone on the no-fly list here? Uh, I, you know what? I, I haven't it. flown in a while, so I'm who knows? trying to get on the yeah. no-fly list, but it's we just, really aggravating. We just, we, just, we, we just did an episode saying we don't believe ISIS is real, so. Well, uh, the thing maybe is, this is uh, maybe, maybe we're, we're working now. our way. No. <laughs> we're working our way onto on. that list. I'm going to take that $29 Promoted. flight to Las Vegas. And see <laughs> yeah, I can get there you on. go. Congratulations, everybody who's on the show is now on a no-fly list. Is that what's going on? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> we just I, got I, ourselves I would be on a probably on one if I didn't love the government so much, because <laughs> they can do no wrong in my eyes. Well, Where's yeah, the state? I mean they yeah, keep us, yeah, the they, they keep us safe and warm. They keep and us happy. safe and warm yeah. and happy, and without them, everything good about life would be gone. So I really like the state. And they I don't keep. I've mentioned that enough. <laughs> and, and primarily, they keep the children safe. You know, they yeah, keep the, the children safe keep the children and safe. our liberties secure. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a free agent. Speaking that's of, all I'm saying. And the roads. Don't forget the roads. Oh yeah. Dinner, yeah dinner. How would we get from point A to point B <laughs> without the government? Speaking of uh, uh, government people that keep children safe, there was a um, there was a uh, child uh, protective service woman uh, at one of the movie theater meetups, and I heard her talking to somebody else, like, "Oh, child mm-hmm. protective service, they're great people." So I came up and I said. Oh, so you believe in kidnapping? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, she got really like offensive. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't no, know no. why she would get angry why at all. Be okay with that. It was like, yes. The there's a. I can't remember where the guy lives, but there's a dude. Uh, guy's name is Carlos Morales, and he he's a libertarian dude, but he used to work for CPS, and so and yeah, that that's yeah, what he yeah, talks about. Right, and he's yeah. just like, yeah, no, it's terrible. Like he. Mm. Yeah, he, he says it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, yeah, they use it as a weapon, like, and it's a known weapon. Like, oh, so yeah. in the neighborhood, you know, you, that all you the don't. Time. They'll, they'll, I'll call CPS on you. You know, you're like, yeah, oh I, shit, right? I yeah. told my kids that they anyone tries to take them that they need to defend themselves. They need to go for the eyes or the groin. <laughs> different things like that. Right. Yeah, so you're welcome, CPS. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it was also financially incentivized, right? So the individual departments or individual offices were financially incentivized for however many cases they had, so they had financial incentive to actually... The flip side of it is that re- people re- are ju- mm-hmm. douchebags to right. their kids. A lot, mm-hmm. you know, it's like generally. It's unfortunate. You know, like, <laughs> true. Well, I mean, they're, they're, I don't know if that like justifies the office. Of course, it doesn't. But I mean, like, yeah, like I've seen some situations. My dad does a lot of pro bono work, and and I've seen some pretty gnarly situations with sure. children. There's a market families. solution for that. I'm sure there is. Yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a social solution for that, you know? That would just Not make everyone's... Solution. And also solution. the conditions that... <laughs> yeah, that make everybody's <laughs> head explode, though, to... The conditions that give rise to that problems. or feed, the, feed those conditions are also perversions. Yeah. That are essentially, you know, of the state origin. State contract, yeah. So is CPS worse than ISIS? Or is ISIS worse yes. than CPS? CPS I guess is much worse than ISIS. My question is, is there a difference? Is there a, a difference, difference between CPS and ISIS? <laughs> At this point. I think That's I a good topic. That I is think, a really you know, good topic. That might be, that, that might be something to, to go away with. <laughs> really try to be as think about as mulling over. But so, what did you say earlier, uh, though? MISIS over? Uh, MISIS so over ISIS. C-I-A-I-S-I-S. C P A. What's that spell? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention Captagon. Did you guys hear about Captagon? That's this is the funniest, Captagon. funniest shit ever. So now they're saying that the ISIS guys, um, they're taking a drug called Captagon, and it's like meth and ecstasy, like mixed yeah. together or something. With, with heroin. Yeah, and like all steroids. All sorts. <laughs> but they're showing like this little pill, and it's looking like this little yellow pill, and you're like, what the? Really? What the fuck is that? You know, like on CNN or something. A Captagon. <laughs> Sounds uh, really so close so to Pentagon. So, so, so it makes them serious. like super so like, like soldiers that, that, that yeah, kill exactly. like masses What's amounts of people. Yeah, it's supposed so to be like super soldiers. Just, so the yeah. question is like, oh, could, could you feed Captagon to androids? And if you could... Would they become your like super warrior like sex soldiers? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're... Okay, now we... we have, so... <laughs> <laughs> now we're on to some of those spirited sessions. The spirited <laughs> sessions of, yeah. Oh, I'm just picturing like a robot with like a with like a bandana that has like the Arabic writing on there in black and all that, <laughs> and 
with a flag. She can take you to your 40, 40 virgins. <laughs> and the last thing we need is a bunch of replicants. And they wouldn't need suicide bombers <laughs> anymore. Think about it. Think about it. They wouldn't. Yeah. These, these Sex are the solutions that we bombers. need to consider. Very. <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh, oh, man. So what is it again? What is ISIS? ISIS. What is ISIS? ISIS. I, I'm saying Egyptian fertility goddess. I'm, that's, that's, I'm sticking with that. Is is. Is is. It is what is. Is it is. ISIS is what is. Is ISIS. Got is, it. Is, is. Got it. It's right. not what you think it is. Is. CIA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just remember CIA. When, yeah, remember when you hear CIA. ISIS, I mean, remember CIA. Getting, uh, um, Maybe he was right when he said it depends on what the definition of is is. <laughs> he was the first person to say ISIS. He was the guys. He's <laughs> so Bill Clinton Bill, started ISIS. Bill, Bill Clinton is ISIS. <laughs> on that note, good night, ladies and gentlemen. No.